faded out by this light. All right, y'all. Welcome back to a, another episode or video. So today we're going to be doing some broadhead tuning. Uh, we got a different handful amount of different broadheads we have. Obviously the Montex that we always shot. And then we are shooting, or I'm shooting, and me and Austin are going to shoot these fat heads, or steel force fat heads, 100 grains. Never done that before. But we are kind of having troubles like getting them to like fly like fill points. And this year, almost all of us are shooting a single pin and like arrow weight and all that stuff like comes into play. So we're kind of like figuring that out because before we always shot like three pins and multi-pin sights and like we yeah, never had a problem getting them to fly the same way Austin Deller Austin shoots the M3 yeah so we're gonna figure that out today so we just built Barwin's new arrows so the first thing into broadhead tuning is building your arrows make sure that they're straight that's like the start of it I guess so we already we just made these literally not too long ago so we got a sight in Marvin's bow to 20 yards because his old arrows were a lot heavier, so these are a lot lighter. So we gotta get that sighted in first. And we can do that with his new arrows. So first thing you gotta do is make sure when you build your arrows, if you're gonna do a light and knock, build it with the light and knock. And tune it with the light and knock, and sighting it with the light and knock. But Mar is not running light and knocks this year, so. And to make sure, so if you guys don't have a arrow spinner at home, I recommend just going to like your pro shop or whatever and then getting that spun and make sure they're all straight and all that are insert tuned and whatnot. Or just have them, get your own arrow spinner and then shop cut them and then uh, you spin them yourself and make sure that it's all square so these arrows are like completely straight and just because you buy match grades does not mean they're all straight you're gonna have arrows that do not just or just don't fly right which it happens but you have a dozen of them so you're fine we're gonna get my own side in real quick at 20 so make sure that's all good and then we're gonna get to shooting some broadheads I shoot a sever this year which I don't honestly I don't know I might bite the bullet because I don't like I don't like mechanicals but these damn things fly so freaking good like, like good too. out like at like 60 yards where my foot point is hitting this hits exactly where it's at Austin kind of convinced me into it and I might just buy two of them and then just run them in the sea and if they work great then great but just because I already spent the money on the fat heads, we're gonna go with the, I'm gonna get these tuned and fly like my fill points. So, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing any shooting today. I'm like too damn sore. So, we're, we're doing Marvin stuff, but I'm just helping him out. And then we're gonna film it while we're at it. So yeah, we're gonna step back 20 and get the sighted in. All right, so we got Two to the left, one to the right. So I'm guessing since the grouping is to the left here, we're just gonna move it over a little bit to the left. You follow your arrow when you're sighting in. And we're back. Camera died. So we got it, got them sighted in. So we did two was when I put the inserts in, you number the broadhead with the arrow that you did. So this is number one, this is number one broadhead. Now, this is just the first one we made, but when you put it, the insert in, you put it on the spinner and make sure there's no wobble, which we already did that. So, there's, so you got it tight. So that way, when you go to shoot it, you know it's all good and all that, it's straight. So we'll put this broadhead on, and then we'll grab another arrow, put a fill point on, and then we'll shoot at the morel. Uh, shout out to Deanna and Austin for letting us borrow the morale. The fill point, so then you shoot the broadhead first and you shoot the fill point and you gotta make see if they hit the same spot. So basically all you look for is groupings. I think the first thing we should do is double check the tune on the bow. So that way we know everything's straight coming out of the bow. Cause we know the arrows are now. So let's double check that and then after that we should be good to start shooting some broadheads around. So these, 
So this is the first one. So number one is good. This is the last one. So these three right here tore a little weird. So I think what we're gonna do is we might just turn the knocks on these ones and maybe they'll fly a little straighter. Because these two were good and we had three that were a little off and wonky. So we're gonna try to turn these ones. So these two are good. Literally all we did, so that was the first one on this one, and all we did is turn the knock. And this one now is a bullet hole. Like I was saying earlier, how there's there's sometimes just that one that doesn't cooperate. Yeah, so that's this arrow. So that was the first shot, and then we did that one, and then we went here. So this is the closest we can probably get that one. So just one of those arrows. So that can just be one of those arrows you have lying around that you can shoot at anything and everything. So hopefully this last one tunes out and then he'll have good perfectly four flying perfect arrows. Yeah, not all arrows will just, some of them just don't tune out. And you can move your rest, but like we've gotten three now that shoot just fine bullet holes, so. All right, now once you get all of them shooting good through paper, now you're gonna throw up a target that you can take broad heads. All right, you're gonna take one arrow, put a broad head on it, like that. Take another arrow and have a fill point. You're gonna shoot the broad head first. You're not gonna shoot the fill point first because if you shoot the broad head first, you get close to the fill point. Or no, if you shoot the fill point first and you get the broad head close to this fill point, you're just gonna cut your fletchings and Hit your arrow and all, it's just bad. So you want to shoot this first. No, shoot this first and then shoot this first. You want to make sure too when you're sh doing this stuff, you want to like take your time and like get good shots so that way you get the most consistent and most accurate uh, tuning. So we're gonna go back to 20 yards, shoot. And when he does shoot, we'll show you what's going on. Before we go any farther, I'm not gonna. I'm not a professional. This is just like the research I've done and saw what people did. But so if you look here, this is the broad head. This one's the broad head. This is the foot point. So the foot point hit where we're supposed to hit, and this is just bottom right, which is actually still pretty good and pretty close. So all we would need to do is move the rest. You don't move the side. You move the rest, I guess. So if it's going right low, you move the rest up the micro adjustments too. So you move it up and so in this case, it'll go up and to the left. But we're gonna get the up and down good first. So all we gotta do is move the rest just slightly. All right, so right there, is what you want. Let's take a look. Okay, this is the broad head right here. And then that's the fill point. And that's a damn good grouping right there. Yeah, that's how you basically tune your broad heads, I guess. Honestly, I just learned that like right now, usually before all we would do is paper tune and then go paper tune them, your fill points, and then put your broad heads on and go to shoot. So, yeah, this is how you do it. Uh, Mara's just gonna put on all the broad heads, shoot them, and we'll see how good they all fly. Make sure they're all flying straight. I say Marvin's good to kill some deer now. Already, two weeks away. So Marvin's done. Hell yeah. Just gotta keep practicing a little more. But obviously, so. Oh, damn, hold this. <laughs> Couldn't have been bad. Okay, so this is Marvin's first shot right here. That's the second shot, a little low, third, fourth, and fifth. Fourth. 
Oh yeah, fourth and fifth. But yeah, so as you can see, he's a little fatigued too, so he's not exactly on point, but these are really good shots at what he was aiming at, so I'm happy with that. So I think Mario is good and ready. His broad heads are all tuned. He's ready to go. So the deer season is coming up here pretty soon. There we go. Good ass lighting. All right, so yeah. Like I was saying, that one's good. Marvin's all good to go. All we gotta do now is sight in his 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60, I think. But all of those are, they're all good. So just because he has lighter arrows, so it's gonna be a little different because a single pin goes by arrow speed and whatnot. So lighter arrow obviously should go faster in theory. But yeah, so all we got left now is both the Austin's, Brandon's, and mine to get tuned and whatnot. And then, yeah, so I guess the biggest thing I would say is if you're doing broadhead tuning, especially if you don't shoot a mechanical, uh, make sure it, you're not tired and you're just making good shots because if you're fatigued and you're just making bad shots, it's, you're not gonna get ever get it in tune. Yeah, so lately we've been doing a lot of scouting. Uh, this year we haven't had a lot of luck with cameras because our cameras have been, what is it, like failing? It's like they, they're on, but they're not, catch anything but when we go back there's a whole bunch of deer sign and the cameras aren't picking them up stolen. yeah and we also had one camera stolen so raccoons turning them yep a whole bunch of stuff we know there's deer there we just we don't know what kind of deer so um yeah stay tuned we're part of the next video or our next outing we're going to be doing a lot of scouting go a whole bunch of different places kind of show you guys how we do that and how we find some deer and hopefully we can get at least like two deer down this year maybe more like two bucks, bucks. yeah where everyone's obviously gonna shoot a doe uh, we don't hunt iowa so we don't only go for big deer we also look for spots that have does and a good amount of does so that way we get some meat in the freezer because we like eating, eating them too so yeah marvin got new arrows uh he went with the uh, East Sense Axis, like 04, 5 millimeter <coughs> match grades. And he went back to Blazers, but we did a four fletch and they actually fly. He went back to Blazers and they fly pretty damn good actually with the Montec. So he's just gonna roll with those. So I did get a new site too. I haven't showed you guys yet, but I'm actually really happy with it. But I bought the Ultraview UV3, UV3 uh, sight. And I have it on a Spahog Fast Eddy XL. And this sight is freaking just money. But yeah, I'm I'm really confident out to 70 yards. And will I shoot a deer at 70 yards? I don't know. But me and Austin were kind of thinking of challenging yourself and do a spot and stock this year. So it might even happen. Who knows, depending on the situation. But yeah, I got a new site. Partially, you guys look that a little bit more closer to deer season, but yeah, it's really cool. And new season too is come is here already, but we haven't gone out yet. And we're gonna take Aiden from this video last year. Oh no, two years ago actually. No, last year, he went. But yeah. Aiden oh yeah. So yeah, we had like two videos of those. We'll put those at the end of the video so you guys can see that. Check those out, but we're gonna take him out. And then, yeah, we're gonna go do some scouting. And we have a lot, we have been kind of, we haven't been slacking, but we have been slacking the last couple months for deer, cause we still haven't found any like more spots that we like and we think we're confident in. So we're gonna do a whole bunch of that more right before opener. Put some cameras up, hopefully and get some stuff here before it opens up, but yeah. It's not like we haven't been looking, it's just we can't freaking find any uh, good spots that we like. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys maybe in the stand. I don't know.